Well, hello good people, it's your favorite son of Obis, Mr. Passion here, and today we are building this Karak Nest from Hytale. As a build, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some facts and theories that I have about the Skaraks. The first fact being that the Skaraks do not attack those that are subscribed to Mr. Passion, but they will attack the 99% of the viewers that are not subscribed. But seriously, subscribe if you like what you see. Remember, it's free and it won't cost a fee. <laughs> oh, I, I just rhymed. You know what, if you don't leave a like for that, at least I do not know what I can top <laughs> onto that. That's it, let's get into it. Fact number one, the Skarks are just bug people and it doesn't get any more plain than that. My theory is they may operate kind of like a hive mind, more than individuals, but that is not confirmed, it's a theory. You get it? It's it's a theory. Yeah, so Skarks may be hive mind or not, who knows. Fact number two, Skarks are divided into subgroups and all these subgroups will probably uh, be present in each hive or a nest. But my theory is depending on the size of the nest, some subgroups may not spawn. I have a suspicion that not all nests will be as massive as the one we are building right now. And uh, the last fact I have for you is that Skarks and Ferns, who are another NPC race, are mortal enemies. It is said that the Ferns at once were enslaved by the Skarks but are now free as of the time you will be meeting them in game. Well as we approach the end of the time lapse, better get some popcorn for the upcoming cinematic and right after that stick around as we explore the interior of the nest as imagined by yours truly, Mr. Passion himself. You guys have to remember that I am a prince, like the lost prince. If you go back to the first episode I ever made in the Hytel and Minecraft series, you will realize that I actually <laughs> started that episode having been banished from the realm of Orbis by the big bad Varen and I'm now in a different block game called Minecraft but I'm waiting to return. I mean you guys should go check out how I began that uh, episode one right here. Check out it's in the top left corner. You at least at the very least you laugh at my horrible improv improv skills and acting <laughs> it is really funny let's get into the cinematic Did you enjoy that cinematic as much as I did? I hope you did because I I feel like that's the best cinematic I have ever done in my whole entire Minecraft career and it's probably going to be among the top top three at least even when Hytale comes out. Well, okay, I can't be sure about that. But here in front of me, we have the Skarak Nest. Just to be clear, uh, this particular design of the Skarak Nest I, I, I adopted from uh, this particular screenshot if you look at the top right corner of the screenshot you will be able to see how I adopted I, I adopted this particular design so with the scar nest in the center and uh, the dead bones on the outside I wonder what those I mean the dead, the dead creature bones on the outside so of course I went ahead and spawned in some bees <laughs> to act as our scarks because to be honest 
I was not ready to spawn skeletons. They wouldn't really do be as effective. But the bees did the job, right? <laughs> they are some very cute skarks, you know. Skarks are not necessarily cute, but these guys are. I like the looming nature of uh, <laughs> of this building. It looks so evil. It looks so scary. And if you're wondering how I was able to get the effect in the sky, I'm using uh, BSL shaders right now. And I just turned the weather to, to rain. Because we're in the desert, it will not have the drops, but the weather will be gloomy. And that's how I got this. But we're not here for all that. We're here to check out the interior. And I think the interest to the interior is on this other side. These buildings actually do have an interior. But I do not think these are going to serve as places to get loot. They are more likely to serve as dungeons. Uh, places to fight bosses. And what we'll be fighting here is probably the the Skarak brood mother. Inside here I basically uh, used uh, the co a concept from uh, the video of the eggs. So wherever you see the blue lanterns those are eggs. The eggs are a bit luminous so yeah. But if you look at that video closely uh, you notice there is a lot of red inside. Sometimes I think it's blood I do not know and a lot of skeletons everywhere. The Skarks must be some deadly guys. They must have eaten a lot of <laughs> human soldiers in, in the battles. And everywhere you'd see are basically eggs laid everywhere with vines and you know, muddy soil on the ground. So I sectioned this off in such a manner that maybe there are different laying areas for different types of Skarks. Maybe here there are the shield, um, the shield Skarks, the shield ants. Then maybe here is the, the worker ants because it's smaller. And then uh, here is uh, the soldiers, the soldier ants or the soldier scarracks. And then maybe in here, this main main part is maybe where the brood mother is. So I use this bluish stuff to represent the goo that the, the, the brood mother would be. <laughs> As as she, you know, as she produces each uh, eggs, she probably there's probably some goo that comes out with that. Yeah, that's not a, a good sight to to behold. Yeah, and this is probably her room, so this is probably where you'd find her. So uh, of course, the the scale of this is nowhere near what the actual in-game scale would be, because they are probably going to be way way bigger. And if you look at uh, the the trailer of the Haito trailer, you'd notice that uh, this things are way bigger. One thing I added that I expect to find is a place like this. So this right here is uh, basically a hole that just like in any termite, if you've ever seen any termite, or termite hill or ant hill of any sort, there's usually at the very top, there's usually something of this sort that allows for the insects if they are flying ones to just get out, you know, and we know that they are, they are flying scaracks, so of course they would come through something like that. Yeah, so um, just taking a scope around, you know, we have, I don't, I don't know what these are supposed to represent. Of course, there will probably be rooms inside. And if you actually check inside here, they are, they are hollow in a way. I made them a bit hollow, uh, but uh, I didn't, yes, you see, like there are some eggs laid up here. And uh, we will see there's some, there's still space in this here, but I did not know what exactly I would put there, and I didn't want to add much, I was really out of ideas uh, of what could be in here. But like I said, this is not going to be a place for loot because I do not think the Skarks are able in any form or way to build actual proper buildings. So, any other buildings that we see them inhabiting are going to be the ones that they that they used, um, uh, th where they had. Uh, help from the ferns actually they enslaved the ferns to help them build them build those particular st uh, structures like the sun palace and you know the prisons those must have been uh, by the scarks i mean by the ferns but yeah that said that is basically it uh, this is a scarak nest it's going to be a very ominous thing to face it will be so much fun to fight getting into it is going to be so hard because there are so many skarks everywhere you know but it's going to be an interesting thing for us to take upon once hydrally is released but i guess that is going to be a wrap for me today uh, i hope you guys actually enjoyed this video do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more build building content i make building content like this and i also make other types of building content from minecraft 
and i'll be making building content when hightail comes out you know uh, a lot a lot to do with uh, the hightail tools that will be given to do the building so i guess i have to bid my farewell yeah like i said do the youtube stuff uh, like subscribe leave a comment down below tell me if you really like this uh build tell me what part of the build was your favorite and uh we shall go on from there but until next time guys bye for now check out the end screen videos uh yeah that's, those are some other cool builds i've done uh from uh, this uh, uh this uh building series of high in minecraft yeah i guess that is it bye